souffles are possibly the most impressive pudding you'll ever make and they're really quite easy. Let me show you. First of all, take the souffle dishes and brush them with soft butter. Going around the bottom first and then take the brush and with long strokes go up the side. Then dip that into caster sugar, shake it about, roll it round and then dip it out. The sugar will give a nice crusty outside. Now I'm going to separate the eggs and it's very important to see that I don't get any of the yolk mixed with the white because if you do get the yolk with the white it won't whip to full volume. And then I'm going to add the sugar to the egg yolks. And now to the thickening of the souffle. I'm going to put corn flour and flour in here. Then I'm going to pour on 90 mils of double cream and I'm going to mix that together and it'll be a thick paste. And I'm going to pour boiling milk on that, so I'll put the milk on to boil. And I'm now pouring on the really hot, not quite boiling, milk. And at this stage, it's not thick, but I'm going to return that to the cooker and bring it to the boil and that will be a very, very thick sauce. And then I'm going to add the lemon juice, little by little to start with. In fact, it looks a little bit curdled now, but I can assure you with a good beat that will all go. Now I've got to mix the egg yolks with the caster sugar. They go in easily into a thick paste. So put the sugar into here. You see now it's just runny. Now that's going onto the uh, hob and it'll thicken up even more. Now it's beginning to bubble. I'm going to take that off the heat cool it down. I'm going to whisk the egg whites until they're very light and like cloud. So I'm going to take a big spoon like that into the pan and mix that in. And then that'll make it easier to fold the rest of them. Uh, whisked egg whites in a little bit later. Now I need to put the whole lot in the pan and very carefully fold it in. So I'm going to go around the outside and cut through the middle. Now what I'm trying to do is fold in all those air bubbles and not break them up. I'm continuing until it's just a beautiful pale lemon mixture. Now that looks as though it's very nearly there. That looks pretty good to me. About 14 minutes, here we go. Out they come. Wow. Just a little icing sugar on the top. So I hope you agree, they're not really difficult to do. In fact, they're quite simple. If you follow the recipe, you'll get the same result as I did.